Kau beli, kau berani kau pakai tangan? Aku berani aku buat cerita. Pakai tangan dia. Ah. Apa kabar bikin sundar? This is Ladies Night. Oh. <laughs> I'm Erin Akanda. I'm Dada Rose and we are from How Some Miss Jokim. Now this is a series where we can talk about whatever we want Whatever we like For the girls, guys and in between. So if you want to see us create some beautiful press on nails Keep, keep on, on watching, watching. Oh, <sighs> how are you sis? I'm great, I'm ready for summer In my outfit Yeah, me too, we're in body suits right now I'm Anyways, so yeah. today we are going to do press on nails So what is dread without nails, right? So these are all the nail things that we have so we're gonna do nails today. Uh, what are you gonna do today? Um, I have a few of these what we call French tips. Okay. Um, some of them are actually not exactly the same, but yeah, they're actually all nude colors with yeah. the tips. You know, yeah. after a while, you know, after yeah. some good beverages, everything will look the same. Yeah. Okay. So why are we even doing this? To look oh good. Oh my god. Yes. yes. What is the purpose? So yeah. So yeah, um, <laughs> for me, I have a lot of sequins as you can see over yeah, here. You love your I, rhinestones. I love my rhinestone sequins. <laughs> sequins. I love my rhinestones. Yeah. So I have different colors like light pink, mm -hmm. light pink, hot pink, dark pink, and black pink. Black pink. Black pink. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm just gonna rhinestone the shade out of it. Okay. How about you? Okay. I have some long almond. Press on oh nails. God, they're so sharp. Yeah. Sharp. And I want to match my hair, so let's go with. I'm gonna paint my nails red, and maybe some still some rhinestones that I see. Girl, over there. I have plenty of yep. rhinestones. Go for it. Okay, and we're gonna show you how we do our press on nails. But before we do that, before we get on with it, mm -hmm. let's take out the trash. I believe it's your turn today. To yes. Take out the trash. It's just too beautiful to take out trash today. Jumping, yeah? Gito. Oh, <laughs> okay. What's the trash today? today? Swap it. Is. Isn't it the best? Ren. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, okay. we're gonna talk about so many best bestest moments. things. Yep. Isn't it the best way we're friends? Ah! <laughs> okay, now back to the topic. So, let's start <laughs> with our nails first before we head over to the first question. Okay. So how I prep my nails is usually with a nail buffer And then of course you need your alcohol pads to dry out your nails a bit So it will stick better uh, Yes! Leave it to Anastasia, like that's a safe word, <laughs> alcohol Alcohol, and she'll be running here uh, <laughs> She'll be galloping here like a horse Gallop. Nee! If only she can gallop Yeah, she gallop on people a bit <laughs> True, yeah. true, such a horse <laughs> You're a horse! <laughs> hey! Okay, so let's get on with the first step. Okay. <laughs> right, do you have alcohol pads on you? Okay, you use this. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna dry out and the nails a bit first. Clean the nails here. But should we do it after we have actually No. If you have like Wait, do oils, we do the sequence on here? Yes. On our nails or on yes. here first? It'll be better if you can do it like how usually drug queens do it is they take duct tape and then they wrap it in a circle and then they paste the nails on and then they will either spray paint and then add on the nails but if you don't have all that things on you right now you can just put it on your nails and then you glue it on but, but I'm gonna have hot glue you're yeah, doing hot glue so I think so. I should do it separately then right? yeah. yeah I think I can do yeah, it one by one yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> now everything is clicking in. Yeah. So she shall just start rhinestoning and yeah. I'll apply the nails on my real nails. So at the end of the day, it's up to you how you make it work. Okay. Yeah, as long as it's beautiful, everything's fine. As long as you're beautiful, everything's okay. Yeah. So yeah, talking about mm -hmm. the topic, like isn't it the best? Like I just have I just have this thing. Oh my god, it's not so shallow, it's so typical. Like I think it's, I just have to ask it. Isn't it the best when like the guy makes the first move? I think yes right. Yeah, I will right. totally right. agree on right. that Right Like, I think In a gay relationship Like being both guys uh, And also both girls Like we always decide like Shall I make the first move? Or shall he make the first move? Like what do you think? Like is the top bottom thing An issue Yeah For making a first move? I, I Okay, for me like I'm a top Okay Okay Cute though Love <laughs> I think 
Kasi alam ko yung mga yun. I'm just yeah. agreeing, you but know? But at yeah. the same time, I'd rather be the one that gets swooned first, you know? Like, get the one, the guy, the other person makes the first move. Like, I think it's but more you... ideal in any situation because it just makes you feel a little bit more swept off your feet even though I'm a bit, I'm like, I'm almost 100 kilos. So it's like, <laughs> I need a forklift to be swept off my feet. Exactly. <laughs> but like, this trailer? <laughs> <laughs> but I do think it's in a way it's like it's a little bit more romantic in a sense like you know mm-hmm. the guy makes the first move wants to get to know you first ask the, your number and like you know this but you're thing. a top yeah but that's the thing that your position in bed doesn't determine that right ah yeah. okay 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 I understand well for me I like when the guy makes the first move I mean you know it really shows the your partner's interest in you like you know like he really wants you that's why he's like you know daring enough to say like hi can i be with you like, can, can i, I be your sayang you? yeah. huh. can i be your sayang 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 sayang, sayang. sayang. Ah, you get to. <laughs> <laughs> so have you ever made the first move yeah like my my latest ex i would assume i made the first move through grinder like that's the thing though like if you were to make is you to text somebody on on grinder mm. is that concept making the first move uh, how do you define making a first move i mean technically by in, in the current world i would assume that that is concept making the first move because you're the yeah. first person to slide uh-huh. these dms and uh-huh. sense, right i feel it yeah, yeah so yeah so yeah i did make the first move like you know try, like getting interested, interested to meet like uh-huh. usually on grinder most of them like you know just want to look for fun whereas for right? my ex at that point of time i just felt like i wanted to get to know him yeah, and we did went out, you know, and go on dates, and we got together. Stop smiling because you know who I'm talking about, bitch. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah. um, but for me, no, I still want, like, I see myself as a woman, and you know, being a woman of age, and I think the guy should make the first move. Yeah, because I don't want to be the, the person who's like, oh, this girl like, so full of herself. Yeah, you know that's why people are scared to make the first move. You're yeah. scared like the person is not feeling the exact same way. That's true. That's true, bro. Yeah, but I think I love it. Yeah, but how about this? Um, Let's say you've already had. Um, what is it? I'm very sure I actually press a sequence, but I don't think right so, but I don't know where it went. <laughs> Life stories. <laughs> it's too small. No, it's not. Okay, then don't pick then, too yeah, small right stories. Yeah, correct, yeah. correct. Yeah. So yeah, like. But the, have you made the first move on somebody before? Um, yes, a few times. But it always ends up like, uh, I'm not ready. I'm like, okay. okay. So yeah, I think, I think, I think like, it is the best when, you know, it's the other guy. But at least, yeah, at least you time. know where you are in a relationship. If they say the person's like, oh, I'm not ready or maybe we can date more. And I'm like, okay, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's not a rejection. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a rejection. It's like, you know what is up in his head. Yeah, yeah to make true. things clear. Yeah. Wait, this glue gun. Uh-huh. How is this a fucking glue gun? <laughs> Girl, I have no idea. You can do it. Okay, tonight, it. on another episode of <laughs> glue gunning with Ariana, Ariana Konda. And he, I have no idea what he's trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's getting longer. Okay, remember, just give it up. I think y'all can just uh, glue gun on the table. Anything, we can just buy a new gun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So as can tell for the director, he just gave up on us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we got budget now. So. <laughs> okay. Anyway, speaking about relationship, like, what was the yeah, best yeah, date? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Why? I can't even get one glued down. For me. <laughs> um. Again, everyone okay, is okay. having a panic attack. You have to breathe. No, because the moment breathe. I put it on, it dries up so quickly. Okay. Means yeah. I I rather you go. Ham and put it on your nails and just glue gun. No, and it's then not gonna stick. work. Glue gun and then stick. It's if I can do one now, how? Then go for it. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, what was your best date night that you ever had experience? Like, doesn't mean it has to be a past relationship. Like, just a date. Like, it was the best date. One of the best dates that I have. Mm-hmm. The okay. best dates are actually those that was is the most spontaneous, and the most mm. like unplanned. Like right, right. I I don't consider this a date, but one of the best moments that I have with my ex again, you know him. Uh, again with the ex, it's like a running theme in House of Mystery. Okay, it's always about the ex. I mean, yeah. I mean that's the only thing I can talk about right now because I don't have anybody right. <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah, so it's like um, yeah, you know, continue. 
And Ariana just discovered a new trend for nails. It's called the hanging nail. Yeah. But you got one on. Finally. You got one on. Okay. Yeah. And so I'm like, still like one of the best days. What I don't consider it was that actually we both were not working. We were in NS at a point of time, so okay. we actually did, were not working. We planned to go out, and as you know, we just like you know what, let's just stay home and just cook together. Oh, this is nice. Even I love till that. now, I actually remember it because uh, we did plan to go out and have dinner. Then I'm like, you know what? Let's just cook something. And yeah, that was the first time we actually cooked together. I even called my aunt and asked for a recipe how to cook sambal sardine. Uh, and she actually explained to me so we all actually cooked a whole meal together and wow. at home and like yeah. So it's like to me that was what one, one of the, the best date I had to be honest because it's just you know what we actually plan to go out and it's, you know, it's just it's the simplest thing of having quality time and doing things together. Yeah, it's just like oh my god, it's just. You know, I love it. Like I love staying at home, being cozy, Netflix and chill. Even though everyone's like Netflix and chill, but like it's really nice. And that's when you really like. There's no distractions outside. It's just you and the person, and then you can get to you know get close. And if sex happens, it's amazing. Um. <laughs> continue, 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 girl. Yeah, but um, yeah, but my best date that I had. The exactly. best date I had was with my seven years ex boyfriend. Oh my god! Yeah. No, I'm I'm saying oh my god because I. Love my <laughs> no, but really, like it was it's just a random date, and plus when you know that your partner is going out of his way, and out mm-hmm. of his comfort zone, uh-huh. just to make that date happen. Yeah. Yeah. So he wasn't a person where he likes to go out a lot, like go yeah, down. Yeah, you even said that he's not really that open or so what, right? Yeah. So there was yeah. that one time we were dating. I think we were already like maybe one year plus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then he said, hey, let, uh, I want to go town and walk around. Yeah. <laughs> Are you still struggling? Yeah. <laughs> this thing glues thick. But yeah, it's, I'm trying to get hanged because I'm using bigger rhinestones now. Okay, the bigger rhinestones, I think, will yeah, be better. Yeah, it's much easier. Yeah. Like, he said, like, okay, then go out town. Then he asked me to dress him up. And then we went out town. Oh, so you dressed him up for yeah, dating? Yeah, and he even wore concealer. <laughs> I mean, to some. Making you know my why? ex gayer. I mean, to some, that's huge, actually. So, yeah. It is. It was yeah. a big step. I think that was the nicest. We had ice creams. Uh, ice creams. Um, actually, I had twice ice cream on that day. I remember it. Yeah, it was uh, Island Creamery. Ooh. Which is so hard to find nowadays. Yeah. And. Yeah, it was nice. It's just a simple date like dinner and out and then talk and then we went home. So it was nice. And they had sex. Of course. <laughs> Duh. Dalia without sex is like. Dalia without sex is like Ariana without food. True. The light just went off. Yeah. yeah. The light agrees. <laughs> okay, so let us check with the progress that we're making. So I have my one side nails on because I'm going to paint my nails. So I need this free and it's too long to work with. So yes, how are you doing still? One nail, two rhinestones. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it's not one girl. Okay, never mind. So we are going to paint my nails right now. So this is just some cheapy uh, nail polish, you know. But it's good red. Uh, it's very, very um, pigmented red. Yeah, because for me, uh, I'm actually just using rhinestones. I the rhinestones I'm actually getting um sh- online is very cheap. Actually, you can get it for very cheap. Um, there's many rhinestones that I have over here. Um, I just found out today that I have manly hands, so to work with these little teeny little rhinestones didn't work for me because the apparatus that I'm using to glue them on is actually a glue gun, and the glue gun that I have is actually very big. So the amount of glue that actually dispenses is actually quite a lot. So and these nails are actually very light. So the more I make the slightest move, everything moves. So I have to be quick yeah. So that's why I've ended up using the bigger ones So it's actually much easier for me to handle them So yeah um, Yeah, I'm just gonna paste it all over my nails And <laughs> and see it. what happens Yeah and yeah. But usually for nails What I know is that They use something called Builder Maybe. gel Yeah, yeah, yeah Builder gel So it's a UV or LED setting gel mm-hmm. Where they put a layer on it On your hands And then you can just stick the rhinestone on And then just cure it Through the LED light That will be easier If you have that at home uh, Yeah But we are drag queens So we will use whatever we can Like mother says Make it work, work. Yeah So Yeah, yeah so, so I'm still like enjoying for, seeing you You can use You can use other types of craft glue So that's like the E6000 glue Oh that, yeah. that's the E6000 glue Yeah Dry that, fast or Yeah It just very dry fast And it's actually very strong Okay Yeah Whereas this glue gun is just Basically 
So you do you paint your nails when you do drag or I you put on press don't. ones a lot? Um, want to know something? Yeah. Um, throughout my whole career in drag, I actually paint my nails once, and painted my nails once, and that was for Drag It Out finals. Oh, is it? Yeah, that was the one and only time that I actually painted my nails. And yeah, it was crazy because I was actually very scared because of being Muslim and shit like that. Oh, I just oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big thing for yeah, you to paint your house. nails. So like, I was actually panicking. So, but you can remove one. Why were you? Yeah, panicking? but that's the thing. Like you know, like the whole the whole idea of like oh, you're painting your nails. That's the thing that scares me. Yeah, so that's why. I, Wait, you have a wig and full face exactly, of makeup and put this on. I, I, irony, right? Irony. Yeah, so it's like yeah, so that I to I had painted my nails black during the finals, so it's like then the moment I finish and got out of drag, I quickly like oh my god, I have to wash it off, wash it off, you know. So, <laughs> I don't know, like I it's just freaking me out lah. But now lately, thanks to Dahlia Rose, uh-huh. I am wearing a lot of press on nails. Yeah, so it's because it's heaven. It's thanks heaven. Dahlia Rose, yeah, and as you can try and find very cheap and quite beautiful ones yeah. online. Like so. for these ones, right? Here, this was like literally two dollars, a dollar, a dollar for nails, and it's cute like this. It's yeah, it's all over online, like AliExpress and stuff like that. Yeah, this yeah. work. Why are you so concentrating? Because this is fucking hard. <laughs> Don't put too much. Three only one. Okay, you should try it like on your nail. Like just go for it, even though it burns you. But I'm scared. <laughs> so should I put it on my nails now? Just put it on your nails and glue it on your nails. Trust me, it's easier. Yes. I paste it on my nails first, right? Hmm? I paste the stick on my nails first. Yes, right? and then you peel off. Okay, so back to nails. So uh, I think you're putting on your nails now, huh? Yeah, I'm changing my mind it, now. Yeah, it's easier to put on your nails first because we don't have. Usually they have those nail holders. Like this cute nail holders, it looks like a stem, and then there's a nail on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick it on. Yeah, that's how they do uh, the fake nails, and then design it for you. Yeah, but we're not putting on our nails. I painted one side, then I was thinking like, wait, I got another hands to do. <laughs> <laughs> how am I gonna peel this off? But we can do it. We're gonna try. And for those that have long, long, long ass nails, like how do you guys work? We like, don't work this. <laughs> <laughs> that answering from somebody yeah, with full experience of not working. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but okay, we're doing great with our nails and yeah. I was so hell bent on like you know doing it separately. Then yeah. I guess it's just so hard because the nails are actually very light and like it's hard. It's, it's hard flimsy, to control. Yeah, it's, it's hard to control. Yeah. You know when when it's just a bit a bit will move. So yeah. So hopefully with this new plan that Dahlia has told me because I was too stubborn to listen to her, hopefully it works. I think it will work better lah. Yeah. Because you have Stop nothing. Stop asking to work. Later the director has a TV. Then just like crying. Okay. Anyway, back to the topic. Like, of course, speaking about uh, excess. No, enough <laughs> of excess. We are done with excess. Oh my god, I'm done with excess. Okay, then, isn't it the best when your mom cooks? Oh my god, where did this come from? After after we talk about such things. No, like, okay, yes. because in my head it's just that I'm craving for my mom's macaroni goreng. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, she she cooks the best fried macaroni ever. Like I've sometimes I crave it and I'll go to some shop to buy it at work or whatnot. It will never. It will never. You can never oh compare. my god, it can't. Yeah, like okay, I had this. Oh my god, literally. But your just, mom is a cook. Yeah, my mom is a cook. We yeah. do have a family business. Uh-huh. Um, if you want to know more, please DM me and I'll send you the link. Yes. <laughs> we do have a Facebook page. So by support. Yeah, but if you guys go to the shop and my mom asks, "Who are you?" Don't say that it's very anaconda because she's still not op- open about it yet. Yeah. Please understand. Thank you. But yeah, um, we actually did. I literally had this conversation with my mom and my sis the other day. I was actually okay. talking to my nephew and nieces. Mm. Um, I was just asking like, uh. Who do you like? Uh, who's better at cooking, Nene or your mom? Uh, or mommy? Okay. Then he just, uh, I'm like, oh my god. Oh no. Yeah, like she literally couldn't decide and uh-huh. didn't dare to like upset. She know, uh, like my niece was like, okay, wanted to say my grandma, but she didn't want to upset <laughs> my sister. She, yeah. was, was so cute. But yeah, like that's why. Sister cook also. My sister can cook also, but yeah, again, like there's always like, okay, do you prefer your mom's cooking or your grandma's cooking? Oh. Like, no, I, I really prefer my mom's cooking. Oh, is that okay? Okay, that's great. But then again, it's very that like yeah. But it's because nowadays we all keep ordering food online, right? True. 
True. Yeah, so it's like sometimes it's just better to to have home cooked meals. Yeah, and it's, like, it's the same for like uh my sister who just got married, mm-hmm. and then like now she's living on her own. Does she cook? She can't cook for shits. Oh <laughs> she can, she can like the like Mediterranean things or like Western things, but like she does crave home food cook. Like home, home, home food cook. Home cook food. Yes. Ah. Uh, so she would literally come like every weekend so, like Hi Ken, can you cook for me this? Can you cook for me that? Oh my god, <laughs> that poor little soul I know, it's just cute But that goes to show that really nothing beats your mom's cooking That's true Yeah, there are some things that people cannot do It's just your mom can do it Yeah Yeah. And do you, does your dad cook? My dad, uh, uh, my dad knows how to cook but he don't cook as often because my mom is actually a full-time chef, you know, she owns Ooh. a stall and everything mm. So she does cook a lot So, but my dad knows how to cook But, but, but Ooh, here's the My dad makes the best satay every time <gasps> oh, I'm Because we used to sell satay at Bukit Batu, one of the shops Where? Block 155 Where is that? What is that near? Uh, near Princess Edward Primary School Okay. Yeah, my dad, uh, we used to own a store there for almost 10 years And we actually have started every single night Oh my god And people love to all this 10 stuff. years? For 10 years, we actually had a shop there Oh my god Yeah, so it's like, yeah, so my dad always burns sat- cook satay every night And people always like to buy his satay We sell thousands of steaks every wow. night because they like to watch soccer also I wanna taste yeah, that Yeah, and drink beer with it So it's like, yeah, my dad is Makes the best satay right. But not the satay itself But you know when he burns the satay He just knows how to cook it perfectly Oh okay oh Okay as you can see My satay is quite moist <laughs> <laughs> My my mom She does She's not a chef or whatnot, But it's just sometimes Her hands mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's just your mom's hands That but she knows they, the perfect Yeah they just know the perfect way To, to cook something to satisfy you, right? Right, yeah, like for the macaroni goreng that she always does is like She knows the uh, perfect, how it's supposed to be not too wet but just nice wet You know, she likes, she knows that I like things wet, so yeah But it's nice that your mom is so what's wet? What? The whole oh, lama, oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. I totally forget again Oh, and I still got one nail on to go Okay, the letter is here Okay, wait, you put that on and then we will do the halftime challenge. So, paper luck time! What do you call it? Paper luck? Paper luck. It's called paper luck. Paper luck! Okay. It's new now, huh? With nails. Give me a colour! That's orange. She's wearing red and then come home with orange. Yeah, o R A N G N E E E. You have Tiara, Farah, Dahlia, and Vanda. <laughs> no oh. No This director is just out to sabo us The name of this series should not be called Ladies Night It's just be called <laughs> Prank Wars with <laughs> Stacia Okay Okay, uh, electricity. You want to make her become okay. What's the what's your choice? Tiara, Farah, Dada, and Vanda. Let's go with Tiara. Tiara, let's do it. Let's go with Tiara. Both queens will do. Both queens will do the challenge. Yes. So okay. There's only one challenge, there's but both of challenge. us will have to do it. And here comes the spin wheel. Okay, so these are all the challenges. Uh, I'm gonna to press, press it. it. I'm gonna press it right now. Big money, big money. This on purpose, right? You chose this, right? No, 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 you <laughs> king hell. So, our outfits we have to change our outfits right now, yes, bitch. with the nails on. Yes. Girl, I will look like a fucking honey big M. Like, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> that looks fucking cool, last year, actually. It matches the hair. <laughs> I love it. Actually, I look better in this outfit. 
I don't. You look good, babe. I look like a fucking like girl. Like I was beautiful just now, and now I look like Anastasia. <laughs> You wanna stand up and show them your full outfit? Yes! Shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, oh like you. I feel okay. pretty comfortable. Yeah, you actually look good actually. Yeah. I love it. Skinny fringe. Okay, so let's continue on. So you have your nails on already? Yeah, I, I'm actually doing them one by one, so it's actually much easier for me. Because if I have all nails at one time, it's actually much harder. Mm, okay, so I got my other sides on, so I'm gonna paint them for now. Yeah, okay, so since we changed outfits, it reminds me of our concert where we changed outfits within. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god, can you remember that performance? Oh my god, yeah. Our, our first... very first ever gig as a house, yeah, which and was. It was a concert in, style. Yeah, it was in Canvas. Yeah. It was a 30 minute back to back show. Yeah. Uh, where there was actually no breaks, no hosting breaks, no intermission. Yep. So it's just the moment the music played, we were full on for 30 minutes. Yeah. It's actually on our Facebook page. Go check it out. It's actually our very first performance as a house. Yep. Me and Anna and Tiara were actually to the baby queens at a point of time. Yep. So it was actually very intimidating for us. Yeah. yeah, and it was so crazy because we literally had a group number, then two solo numbers, and then to another ending group number. So we had to change three times in total right. and back to back because the music does not stop. <laughs> the, DJ the DJ's job for that day was literally space bar. Space bar and let That's it go. It. There's no like, okay, you can stop now and somebody talk. So it was so crazy no. because we literally had that Seconds few, to change. We literally had that few minutes like, because there's gaps between every song, you know, like because the sequence of every single Yeah, so like one song is about two minutes is three. But that's the only thing you get. Like Tiara had the hardest job at the start because the moment the first number was out, okay. so she literally had to change on like at the back of the stage where everybody could see her. It was so yeah, scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then again, like we all sort of like turned it out. We tried our best. Yeah. And I had a wardrobe malfunction because she had to wear my bra. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Why must she wear your bra? Um what oh, yeah? What was the reset? What was the reset? What was the reset? Yeah, but scared I didn't have a red look. Oh, oh yeah, it was supposed to be red, white, and blue. She wanted to be the only one without red. <laughs> no, I brought a hip hop outfit. I forgot it was Busquet Dolls. <laughs> yeah, so isn't it the best when you're performing? Yeah, and when it, it all ended, yeah. the, it was the best feeling. Yeah. And we all went through, I think, quite a lot of rehearsals for it. Oh my I god, the rehearsals were insane. Yeah. Both of us did, because thank you, we're not really dancers, dancers. Yeah. And we had to catch steps as fast as trained dancers like Tiara and Anna. And, and, uh, so it's like, it was crazy for us. I was like, oh my god, what did I just get myself into? Because it was my first gig. But I'm thankful for that. It was a good experience. It is, like, it was. My best performance. It was my lip sync with Viola Virus. <laughs> what? I, I thought he was whispering some like satanic shit. Beside me, I'm like, why is he whispering? No, it was actually the random lip sync Battle with Viola Virus. Oh, the one by Peaches. The one by Peaches. Yeah, I remember that. Actually, when I look back, I'm like, oh my god, it was so unplanned. But the whole vibe of that performance, I love it because it was literally down to just lip sync and being yourself. Yeah, like you didn't have any tricks planned, even though you do yeah. have your standard tricks that you yeah. apply to in a lip sync battle. But like there was literally nothing planned. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Like, I, know, I didn't think about it And the one with Urban Ventures as well the one Oh my god and... That was just Freaking yeah. amazing And you that just... one was really unplanned Because I was like Okay We are at the roadside And, and... we just technically Knew each other How yeah. communicative Just started Just started Yeah, yeah. And then I saw the, the speakers I was like Okay maybe I can dance On the speakers So I was like Okay I just dance on it Or like do something and I was like Okay how am I going down And I forgot That my heels was that high. Yeah, it was like high. very high heels. I was like, there's only one way down but to jump. <laughs> that was in my head. The only so way to jump the down. The song that she did was Milkshake Bitch was yeah. in. No Milkshake, Milk Money. Milk Money, milk money sorry, yes, Milkshake. Yeah, so it's like, that was my first time really getting to know Dahlia and seeing her perform live. Yeah. 
bitch just jumped off a fucking speaker onto the gravel the, road. The gravel road. It was a. It was actually a street party, so it was yeah. on a road. It was not even like on wooden floor. No, it was road. Like bitch kept scraped her knee, which I think. But I didn't. Good. Yeah, and what made me even more amazed by that performance. Uh huh. Was that actually you told me that outfit you actually did it on the day itself? It yeah. was actually a uniform. It was, it was actually, actually a uniform. I cut it out and then I was like, okay, a skirt. So I have a simple black circle skirt. I was like, okay, maybe we can turn out maybe like a milkmaid kind of vibe. So bitch, I just turned the look using a, a men's national, t-shirt, a men's shirt. Yeah. Yeah, shirt, so shirt. Yeah, yeah shirt. shirt. I was like, wow. And that performance was so amazing because we all, everybody, you know, like, sh- how we all, some of us have forgotten how partying is like. Yes. But let's just remember, we all know how street parties are like. They yeah. are bang on with all the partying and the music and the yes, drinking and the, and the and the whole vibe of it. Yeah, the whole the community whole, of yes, it is just amazing. Right. And to have like literally hundreds of people around you going screaming, crazy. going crazy, and even the DJ was going crazy. Yeah, oh my god, well, that, that was, was just, it. Was a good party. I would say that was, that was a good the party. best one of the best performance for you, darling. Yeah. I'm just excited to be back on stage. Oh yeah! End of July. I'm still nervous, but yes, I'm excited to be performing again. Yeah, sure. isn't it the best when your packages comes on time? Yeah, when, yeah. When oh you my need god! It. Yes, yes, yes. When you need oh, it. Oh, yeah. My god. Oh my god! Like you know when you, circuit breaker actually started, most of us even till now actually started into like renovating our houses. Oh my god! I got a yeah. brand whole new room thanks like, to COVID. Yeah, like because of COVID, like I had to revamp my room to make sure it was office ready in a way. Oh yes. Yeah, yes, all my stuff yes. were organized properly. Like you know, I had to hide my vibrators because you know sometimes it might just appear in my work meetings online. <laughs> <laughs> so like. Like so, like we order a lot of things online. Yeah. And like, is it the best that like, sometimes you know you just like fuck? I need it by end of this week. Will it arrive? Then you actually just text the the, the next the, day. Yeah. Then you text the you text the seller. You're like, I'm so sorry. I need it urgently. Then like they don't even charge you for extra express yes, payments. You know, like yes. they really send to you. I'm like, oh my god, yes, cheers. Right. Yeah. I love it. Like, where do you shop often? Um, online? I most of the time I actually go to Shopee. Same. I'm a Shopee shopper. Shopee. Uh, AliExpress. Uh, the, that one, to, packages want to come early. That one, forget about it. Yeah. Uh, AliExpress. If you shop in AliExpress, I don't expect your packages to come. You have to at least order a month earlier. A month, not even two months earlier. Yeah. yeah. And you don't say that I have so many things coming in my way right now. <laughs> but I just need it right now. But it's like it's also the best when you uh, like when the, your packages come when you least expect. It. I literally check every day. Yeah. No, but it's isn't it the best when the packages come when you least expect it also. Oh yes. Yeah, you'll be like, yes. oh, I'm gonna wait two two months because you're so used to waiting very long for it. And I say, uh, you know, like, eh, hey, it's here. It's right, Ali. Oh right. my god, the feeling. Yeah. The feeling is like, oh, I love it. Yeah. But do you really like shop a lot? This COVID, I feel like we do shop even more. Honestly, I really don't think I do shop a lot because because you have nowhere to go. Ah, uh, yeah, and I don't really spend a lot online. I even uh, even the real. I mean, before COVID, I don't really. Spend, You're not an online shopper. Yeah, I do spend online a lot, but it's more to food delivery. <laughs> Still consider online shopping, with Yeah. For your stomach. So like then again, it's like, <laughs> but when I do shop. Uh huh. Girl, I go full on bang on yeah. Like yeah, all I, I know how she shops She will go all out Like all out Of it Yeah I'm like those person Whereby when I say money I really do But when I do spend Oh <laughs> Oh I baby. can't I really can't control My spending actually Yeah Same here But hey It makes me happy When I receive gifts For anyone From Everyone blood. From yeah. the mail Men <laughs> 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 From the mail. I love delivery guy porn. Oh my god, it's so sexy. Isn't it the best? <laughs> isn't it the best? <laughs> isn't when it the best? Delivery break porn. Uh, talking about porn, isn't it the best when your porn fantasies come to life? <gasps> when the porn fantasies come to life, isn't it the best? Okay, let me think. Have I my porn fantasy? Have you had? Oh yeah, I really did. Yeah, it's fine. I should not say. Yeah. Yeah, what category? Me. So I can search. Okay. Ah. Uh, Fetish, BDSM, mature. BDSM. I fisted my ex. <laughs> <laughs> That's the category. Laugh as I'm smiling. So how's the progress of your nails so far, sis? 
It's going well. I've done all the nails and I put a little bit of rhinestone in it. I literally just dip the glue gun in it. So it's ratchet, but it's cool. If she finally like uh, felt my struggle just now at the start of the video. But I found a way to your struggle. Yeah, she literally just dip it in deep blue and just went for it <laughs> on, the, on the box. You just can't say no to dipping in all these things, right? Yeah, like that. if oh you spit it and I'll kill you. <laughs> no. So, girl, are you done? I'm drinking, okay. so I'm done. So am I. You're done? Sure, she did it. Can I see? I tried, girl, I tried my best. It looks good, like, on stage. <laughs> Mine perfectly is only on stage. <laughs> you see this out front, I'm like, uh. Girl, I have glue strings all around it's, me. It's, it's a new trend. <laughs> glue the strings? Glue, glue gun nails. Oh. Okay, so I have the final question. Come on, come on, let's hear it. Okay, so. Isn't it best when your ex. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and for today, we have a very special uh, guest Anastasia on the line Anastasia, are you there? Yeah, you're gonna talk about your ex <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding Okay, so, shall we show off our new nails with a good selfie? Yes! Okay, ooh, lovely Oh wait, I can't show my nails though How are we going to do this? Okay, ready? What? Yes, I love it Okay, so guys, it's time to drop the D. We're gonna tell you where we're gonna tell you our latest obsessions of the week. That's making us just drop the D. Our D. Yeah. So, do you have any current favorite obsessions? My obsessions lately um, of the week is actually today's topic, which is press on nails, girl. I have literally oh, yeah, fifty different sets of. She nails. was actually last time against press on nails. She I was like, the uh, nails. Oh, I can't do anything. I don't worry. No. Yeah. So yeah, and lately I actually been obsessed with that. I literally have fifty of them in Whoa. my cart right now, ready to go. And, yeah. Nails. So I'm waiting for my sugar daddy to give me my money. And <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah, I'm obsessed with nails, and today is my first time again ever to do a new thing, which is. They create some nails and yeah, it's still a stupid bang on job, but like hey, I'm obsessed with nails, so I'm one th- I one, can tell a bit. Like one thing at a time and I'm learning how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my obsession is I don't know whether it's weird, but it's just a yes, new it's thing. Weird. Okay. So lately I've been eating my fried things like nuggets and fries with a mixture of sweet Thai chili sauce, mayonnaise. And salt, what? and I mix it together. Oh my god, babe! It's amazing. Girl, you had me a sweet Thai chili sauce, and then you added mayonnaise, and then no, you added salt. It's amazing. Girl, it's one of those things where, by like, some guy starts stripping, you'll be like, oh my god, nice body. Then I see you know, like he's he opened his wallet, only got one dollar, that kind of thing. No, it's amazing. It's like sweet chili sauce, and then with the so you mayonnaise. want sweet, you want salty, and you want sour. Isn't I want everything, babe. But it's beautiful. You know what? Oh, you, you, you guys should try. You guys should try. That's going to be rasa, actually. No, the sauce. It's like you have chili sauce. Sweet Thai sauce is good enough, right? No, sweet Thai chili sauce, and then you add the mayonnaise. Girl, it before I pick up my tea and throw it at you. Oh my gosh, you guys should try it, and then let me know. Okay, let's move on. Okay, you know why? <laughs> the end of the episode. Thank you guys all so much. Hope you guys enjoyed. So don't forget to give us a like, comment, okay, subscribe. Share. Ready? So Go. don't forget to like, like comment. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Good. Yeah! Like, share, comment. Like, comment, share, subscribe like, for the 10 hundreds. Like, comment, share, subscribe. <laughs> oh my god. On YouTube. So, don't forget to like, like comment, comment, share, subscribe, subscribe and turn on the notification, notification button. button. Bye! Okay, Sun now we're going to go. make that mayo chili I'm thingy. I'm going to go finger spice. No, don't finger anyone. I tell you, it's nice. We're going to try it.